What's up, family? A video making its way around social media has sparked both criticism and support. In the video, a woman is filming her husband whipping their four daughters. What I need you to tell me is, do you think that this is good old fashioned discipline or did the father go too far? Is this abuse? I'm not going to show you the video here on YouTube because if I do, they may take it down and give me a strike tell me something about I violated community guidelines because the video is too obscene, it's offensive. They say things like that when I post it, but other people can post the same video and it'll be up forever. But anyway, if you're a member of my Patreon community, you can check out the full video there. Otherwise, you can click on the link below this video here and check out the raw footage. Also, make sure you click that little bell next to the subscription button after you subscribe, if you haven't already done it. That way you get your notifications each time I drop a video. A lot of people feel like if this generation had gotten more whippings, that they would be a little bit more disciplined. I can't say that. I can't just say that to be true. Here's why. If all you do is whip, if that's your thing, whipping, you know, get out of line, I'm whipping. It makes your kids respect you. Well, it may make them respect you, but it won't make them respect other people. Anytime you decide to use physical punishment with your children, if you're not putting a lesson behind it, if you're not talking to them and coaching them, coaching them through what they did and why what they did was a bad idea and how it could negatively affect them and others, then you're basically wasting your time and really you're doing it because you're mad. You're doing it for yourself. You're really not beating them because you're trying to better them. You're beating them to make yourself feel better because you're mad and you can't control your emotions. Listen, I've been there. I got the beatings. I got a bunch of damn beatings. And I can tell you for certain it did not. One beating that I ever got made me respect other people more. None of the beatings I got stopped me from cursing. It just didn't. All it did is made me fear my mother. That was it. Made me angrier. Made me go out into the world and take out some of that abuse on other people. Because you know how they say, pressure make a pipe bust. I was under a lot of pressure at home. So I did a lot of busting. That's all it does. I'm not a big fan of corporate punishment. Yeah, you know, sometimes these kids need to get it. I get that. But that started early, man. If you you got to get a grip on that so early that they don't even remember when you whipped them. It's like that the early stages of child development when they're trying to put something in their mouth, they're not, you know, squatted away. You know, they're, uh, you know, being honorary, you know, tap them on the butt or whatever a couple times, you know, they get it. Out of all of that, you know, I spanked my kids. I think I spanked my daughter three times, two times. She don't remember. Last time she was in the kindergarten. And my son, he got it about four or five times. He don't remember. You got to get to him real early. To instill that level of respect, not fear. I don't like the idea of people say, you got to put the fear of God in your children. I don't want to put the fear of God in my kid. Man, they 
try to do that. And why should they fear God in the first place if God's supposed to be a loving God? I ain't trying to do all that. I don't want my kids to fear me. I want them to respect me and respect themselves and respect others, respect, especially th those who respect them. That's it. Some people, first thing they want to do, their first reaction when it comes to children is whoop them, beat them when they get mad, when they do something. In fact, that's their, that's some, for some parents, that's their only reaction. I felt like dude was wrong in the sense of, see, I don't believe a dude, I don't believe fathers should, should whoop their daughters. And I think they should be very care, careful and cautious of putting their hands even on their sons. When I say that, man, I mean, it really, really should be like a last result where you know, you're being totally disrespected and, you know, it's one of those type of situations. But just doing it, say, this is, I'm doing this because you did that. This is your punishment. Nah, man. When I whooped my daughter the last time, when she was in the kindergarten. I did it to make myself feel better. I did it because I thought that's what I was supposed to do. She was in class at school and one of the kids told her she was fired. Hit her with the old Donald Trump, you're fired. And my daughter bit her. So I was like, man, I, I kind of lost. I was like, we don't do that, man. We don't bite people. You know, that's what animals do. You know, I just felt really, really, I felt, I felt disrespectful. It was a personal thing. I, I felt disrespected. So I whipped her. After I did it, and I talked to her and I explained it to her, but after I whipped her, I just thought about it. I was like, man, I felt real bad because I realized that I did not have to do that. I could have just punished my daughter and that would have been enough like it has been all of her subsequent years. Never had to put my hands on my kids. Either one of them. They know when I'm serious. And the most effective tool that I've always had is just taking things away from them. You know, when my mama used to whoop me, my mama turned the whippings first. But what was effective with me is when she would tell me I couldn't go outdoors. She would tell me, man, you can't go outdoors. Oh, man. Now I'm sitting in the room, all the other kids outside playing, running around, having fun, and I can hear them. No, oh man, that's torture, man. You ever, you ever been in the house, had to stay in your room, and you can hear the noise of the other kids having fun? And, oh man, that was torture, man. That was worse than any whipping I ever got, man. That's what worked on me. Taking things away, taking away those privileges. It works. A lot of people feel like, well, I, 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 I should whoop them because you know, I got whippings and I turned out all right. Oh, man. There's a lot of things that our parents did that was not right. We supposed to carry on those traditions? The idea of parenting, the idea of generations, family, is to evolve. Each generation do a little better than the next. It's not just doing better financially, but doing better emotionally, doing better as people, the way you treat people, the way you resolve conflict resolution, the way you deal with conflict resolution, the way you interact with people. You know, it's called growth. If you're doing the same exact things, that your parents did and you ain't added nothing or taken away something, something wrong with you.
because none of our parents were perfect. So the idea is to take the things that they did right and use those and the things that they did wrong and discard those and try to be better parents than our parents were. Why was this posted in the first place? I don't understand why people discipline their children, especially when they whoop them and film it and put it on social media for the world to see. That's insult to injury. You've already disciplined your child. You've already or abused them already. And you're going to add insult to injury by uploading it so that their friends can make mockery out of them and everybody can laugh at them all over again. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. In fact, it seems very immature to me to do something like that. Man, keep your business to yourself. The public ain't got to know everything that goes on inside of your house. Let me talk to the man for a minute. You don't want to get your daughters used to a man putting his hands on them. It's not a good look. See, because psychologically it does something to her. She may think that, okay, well, when a man gets mad at me, he puts his hands on me. And that's really a symbol of love because my father loved me and my father say the reason why he did it because he loved me. You just don't want to get your daughter used to men putting their hands on them. Y'all can try to you know, come with all these uh, philosophical excuses and explanations all you want about the daughter father relationship and that's a romantic relationship that's different and all that. Hey man, knock yourself out. I'm telling you, you don't want your daughter to get used to a man putting his hands on her. Your kids, even your son, your kids, when they go out into the world just like you, they have to deal with all of these elements, these strange people, and they got to keep their guards up because, you know, it's people out there that may try to harm them. When they come into that house, that house, that home need to be a sanctuary. They shouldn't fear anybody in that house. Dude was beating his daughters like a madman, <laughs> slinging them all over the place. Looked like he could have broke that one little girl arm. He's whipping them for cussing, but he's cussing while he's whooping them. If you use whippings as a primary source of punishment, you're doing something wrong. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.